Disclaimer, this product was provided to the author to do a review. All opinions are 100% authors and authors alone. To have your product reviewed, visit bit.ly slash review my product. Hey guys, this is your friend Iggy back again with Dragon Blogger. So today I'm going to do an unboxing and a brief overview of the Sapphire Radeon Pulse RX 550 4GB edition. Now, this might not be for the hardcore guy that needs a 4K gaming machine running at 122, 145 hertz with all the eye candy. This is probably more for a con more conservative machine. It is for essentially a low tier affordable model, uh, perfect for offline or online games like League of Legends, Rocket League, Counter-Strike, Paragon, or other games like that where you don't need, or actually it would probably hinder you to have such hardcore and high-end graphics. But anyway, let's get over here real quick. Let's do an unboxing and I'll show you what's inside. Hello my friends out there in Dragon Blogger land. This is your friend Iggy back again with Dragon Blogger. So I'm just gonna show you real quick how to install the Sapphire Radeon Pulse RX 550 video card into your machine. Okay, so you know, you might be installing a video card A because you know, you're upgrading or B, maybe because your old video card died. Or C, maybe you're using integrated video and you want a discrete card. You want a full video card just like this guy. Okay, so first off, what we're going to need to do if you already have a video card is we're going to need to rem remove your old video card first. So let me zoom you in real quick and let me show you how it's done. All right, so first to remove your card, we're going to need to unscrew the video card from the case. Now, in most cases, the screws are right over here, but in this particular case, the Cougar Panzer, the video, the, uh, the screws are right in here underneath this guy. So first, I'm just gonna go ahead and unscrew this. And I apologize, I lost one of the screws for the video card earlier today. But that's okay, it's going to be the same. Okay, so now that we have that piece removed, now we have to remove these guys. These are normally the ones that I was mentioning would be inside here that actually retain the card. On this case, they're on the outside, so we just unscrew this one. Again, I lost the one right up above, but I'll find it again at some point. Magnetized screwdriver, always great to have. Okay, so now we come to the part that a lot of people are scared about, but it's really simple. Okay, we're going to remove the card. So first off, you can't just pull the card out because you're going to break the motherboard. You're going to break the motherboard because right back here, there's a little a little locking mechanism and I'll zoom in so you can see it okay so you can see that right there that little guy right there you you push it down just to pull the card out now that it's down you pull the card out so I'll just show you that out here okay and then first off if you do have uh, power, PCIe power connected to your video card, you want to make sure that you unplug it. This particular one, the plugs on the top, most will have the plug on the bottom. So I just push it and pull it out of the card. Simple. Okay, now the other simple part, but again, you do have to push down that little locking mechanism. All you do is hold the video card with one hand, pull push down that little button there with another hand and pull the card out. That's it. That simple. Okay, so now you've just removed the old video card. In this case, it was the Sapphire Radeon Nitro RX 48 470. We're going to go ahead and install this guy. Again, the Sapphire Radeon Pulse RX 550 video card. I'm going to go ahead and remove these guys first. 
these are just plugs blocking off all the video outputs or video connections I should say so that dust or anything doesn't fall in there and now matching up the PCIe connection to this PCIe over here all you do is align it and now make sure that this aligns with the back right over here because this will stick out back over here and I'll show you in a second so again align everything make sure everything's good okay and now now that that's there I'm just gonna let go for a second I'm gonna install it and then I'm gonna take it out and push it back in so you can see what happens to this little guy the locking mechanism so now that I'm holding it that's it I've just installed the video card now mind you I have to install the video drivers and if you had a video card in there before, even if it's a, another AMD card or an NVIDIA card, Intel, Matrox, via any kind of video card you may have, it's always best to uninstall the previous video uh, drivers first before you introduce the new card. Now, mind you, you still can have a new card in there with older drivers, even if they are from separate manufacturers. You, the video will just look 800 by 600, really pixelated. You just need to uninstall them, reboot once or twice, install the new drivers, and you're good to go. But again, the card's in there. Now, the same way we put everything back here, I'm going to zoom out. Okay, we're going to put those screws back in. Actually, what I wanted to show you real quick on that locking mechanism, let me zoom up. Okay, that locking mechanism. Okay, right there. So I'm going to push it down, pull the card out. Okay, so now the card's out. Now I'm gonna push it back in. That little locking mechanism is gonna spring down just for a quick second and spring back up. So watch real close. You saw that? It just went and locked in place. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead, zoom back out again. And now we're gonna go ahead, screw that video card in. Again, I'm missing one screw, but if you had both, you would use both. Ah, look at that. So it is a single, a single slot card. So it's not going to take up another slot like the other one. So you want to make sure you have a PCI cover for this. Now it's not 100% needed, but that will help in removing and keeping dust out of the computer. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and put this back in. Your case, if you don't have a Cougar Panzer, chances are you won't have this same type of mechanism. It will be uh, probably a much easier mechanism. This way is a little bit more cumbersome, but either which way works. All right, so now, since this card does not have any sort of PCIe connection, just like the RX 470 did right over here, where you had to plug in a by 8 PCIe connection. The Pulse RX550 doesn't require that. So you can just go ahead and unplug these cables or hide them if you don't have a way to disconnect them. And then your cable link just looks a lot nicer. Anyway, this is Iggy with Dragon Blogger showing you how to install, upgrade, or replace a video card with the Sapphire Radeon Pulse RX450 4GB edition. Iggy with Dragon Blogger out. See you guys.